Hi, I'm Klaus from Guitar Habits and this is part 2 of the 9 blues chords. Now I'll show you two ways to play those blues chords over a 12 bar blues progression. Okay, let's check it out. Okay, so the first A dominant 7 chord is this shape. First finger on the G string, 2nd fret, 2nd finger on the A string, 4th fret, 3rd finger on the low E string, 5th fret, and the 4th finger on the D string, 5th fret. Your root note is here on the 3rd finger, it's an A note, so A dominant 7. Then the next shape, so we play this 2 measures, 2 bars. Move on to the next A dominant 7 chord. First finger on the low E string, 5th fret, second finger on the D string, 5th fret, third finger on the B string, 5th fret, and your fourth finger on the G string, 5th fret. Mute the A and the high E string, play those two bars, and then, so we got. play the D dominant 7 chord. So we learned this, this shape, A dominant 7, with your 3rd finger on the 12th fret. Now we move it over here to the 5th fret, 3rd finger on the 5th fret, and you get yourself a D dominant 7. So what we use our 1st finger on the B string 3rd fret, 2nd finger on the D string 4th fret, Third finger on the A string, fifth fret, and your fourth finger on the G string, fifth fret. D dominant seven. Two measures, and then back to the first A dominant seven chord. Two measures, and then that D dominant seven chord we already used. We move that up two half steps, so we have an E dominant seven. And then we move it back to the 5th fret, D dominant 7 again, and then back to the 1st A dominant 7 chord, and then this E9 chord. In the first part we learned how to use it up here as A9. Your root note is here, then on the 7th fret D string, on your 2nd finger. If you move it up here, so your 2nd finger is on the D string, and you get an E9. So your 1st finger is then on the G string, 1st fret, your 2nd finger on the D string, uh, did I say D, sorry, 1st yeah. finger on the G string, 1st fret, 2nd finger on the D string, 2nd fret, your 3rd finger on the high E string, 2nd fret, and your 4th finger on the B string, 3rd fret. That's E9. Mute the low E and the A string. So that's it. And then you can move finally back to the root. So you move this chord up here again, so that your so the same chord, but then up here, so that your second finger is on the 7th fret D string. And that's A9, E9, A9. Again, slowly. A dominant 7. Next shape, A dominant 7. And then D dominant 7. Down a seven. E down a seven. Oh, sorry. D down a seven. D down a seven. A down a seven. 
E9, and then finish it with it. A9, or this is E9, A9. Okay, let's move on to another way to play this 12 bar blues progression. Okay, so we start with the A13, first finger on the low E string 5th fret, second finger on the D string 5th fret, third finger on the G string 6th fret, and your fourth finger on the B string 7th fret. A13, your root note is here on the first finger. So we play one measure on the A13, then Second chord is this A dominant 7. First finger on the low E string 5th fret, second finger on the D string 5th fret, third finger on the B string 5th fret, and fourth finger on the G string 6th fret. So when you move from A13 to A dominant 7, you can leave your first two fingers up here. You only move your third and your fourth finger. So try to shift between those two chords. Practice that. A13, A down a seven. Then we got ourselves a D9 chord. First finger on the fourth fret D string, second finger on the A string, fifth fret, third finger on the G string, fifth fret and 4 finger on the B string 5th fret. Mute the low and the high E. D dominant 7, up here. Your uh, root note is here on, the, on your 2nd finger, that's a D note. So we first learned it as an A dominant, uh, A9, sorry, A9, did I say it? D dominant 7? I don't know. This is D9, and this is A9 here with your 2nd finger on the 12th fret. And now we use the D9. So A13, two measures, two me uh, sorry, A13 one measure, A down and seven one measure, A13 one measure, A down and seven one measure, two measures on the D9, and then back to the second A down the A down and seven chord, two measures. So we got one, two. A down 7, 1, 2, and then we uh, take this D9 chord and we move it up two half steps so that your second finger is on the A string 7th fret. That's your root note up there, that's an E note, so now we got E9. And then we go back two half steps to D9. And then we play the A13 chord again. The first chord. And then E13. So first finger on the D string second fret. Uh, first finger on the D string sixth fret. Second finger on the A string seventh fret. Your third finger on both G and B string. finger on the high E string 9th fret. A13, root note on the second finger. This is your E note, so E13. And then you close it up with this E9 chord. Ah, oh, that's nice. First finger on the A string 4th fret, second finger on the G string 4th fret, third finger on the low E string 5th fret, and your fourth finger on the D string, fifth fret. Mute the B and high E with your index finger like that. So on 
only play those four strings. So let's play this again slow. A7, so start with A13, A down to 7, A13, A down to 7, D9, two measures. Again, A down and 7, two measures. And E9, D9, A13, E13, and A9. A little bit faster. enjoyed this lesson and if you want to learn more you can check out guitarhabits.com for tons of free guitar lessons okay see you next time